It'll be YouTube, I'm Eric. Thanks for coming on the video. And we are back. After endless nights of boycotting BBC, we finally have our first breath of Luna music in the shape of Odd Eye Circle. After seven long years, Odd Eye Circle is back with their music video for Air Force One. Three minutes and nine seconds at a very nice 24 frames per second equates to 4,536 individual frames. So let's go through all of them and see what we can find. Now, if you do end up liking the video, do please leave a like. It really does help support the channel and makes it easier for the theaters to find too. Your support on these videos really means a lot, considering I don't make anything from these types of videos. They get content claimed immediately, unless Mod House. I know you're better than BBC, so you want to help your boy out? That being said, if you like what I do here and want to see more videos like this in the future, continue here at the subscribe button. But let's begin this breakdown of the music video of Odd Eye Circles Air Force One. Right off the bat, we are greeted by our lovely members of Odd Eye Circle, Jinsel, Kinlip, and Cherry, in the back of the van, with their crew seemingly about to infiltrate some type of building. Are we delivering a cake for someone special? Maybe a little frog girl? I guess not because Jinsel just yeeted that thing. This underground parking lot is reminiscent of scenes in Sweet Crazy Love where Cherry also walks through an underground parking lot, though in her classic purple schoolgirl uniform, and a particular scene in Olivia Hayes' Equus music video. Here we have them putting on their eye patches. Eye patches are pretty symbolic for Odd Eye Circle, being in past music videos like Sweet Crazy Love and Butterfly with their actresses. The side they had their eyes covered is where their odd eye is. Jinsoul and Kimlip are on the left, while Cherry is on the right. These are an extra shoes sliding backwards, seemingly about to get up and leave as a circle enters the room. Now in these scenes, Jinsoul is just salt bay. But what's interesting is that there are just objects floating, almost as if time had stopped. Now we have Kimlip in frozen time, where there's an apple, some grapes, and bread floating around. Here we have the trickster, Cherry, also in frozen time, tying someone's shoelaces together. Now this just takes step on me to another level. Also, it could be referring to Why Not music video with Eve doing almost the exact same thing. Here we have Kimlip with a cherry, which is cherry symbolic for it, but also a key item in Lunaverse that has been featured in many Luna music videos. Ooh, some spice I see. Now the crown is something seen in only one other Luna music video, and that is in Gowan's music video for one and only, which includes Eve bestowing a crown on Gowan. And Lippy just yeets the chariot like she doesn't need it. Now we have our little sunshine putting a purse on her head. As time returns, guards rush in, but the crew Auto Circle brings in with them fends them off, while Jin Sol hands off the crown to Cherry. Now this scene with Jinso and Cherry running away from the guards through sheets is awfully reminiscent of the scene in Hi Hi where Kimlip runs through the sheets. Now this is just nitpicking, but my boy, you're going to hurt yourself if you're holding the gun like that. This scene with Cherry pulling something back and letting go seems to be a direct reference to maybe a couple things. One is Hustle's Let Me In music video where she uses a slingshot to launch a crystal herself. 
which is also a reference in the Hula Hoop music video. The other could be referring to Eve in Chu's Heart Attack music video, where she acts as if she's using a bow and arrow to shoot at Chu. Also, is this part of a wig? Interesting. Now, the wig is pink, and aside from Kim Lip having pink hair back during the Flip That era, there's one other person that has had pink hair. So, what if this pink wig was actually Vivi's hair? Remember, Vivi was turned into an android. So, what if this is where she was turned? No, this guy's just old white Converse shoes. Now we get a cut of the sign from earlier, which is just soul, but flipped. A similar sign was also used in Eye Circle's Sweet Crazy Love music video. You can't really see it well in the shot, but Cherry's earring is actually a rose. Now Jinzo and Cherry are just dancing around in front of the guys pointing guns at them. And they honestly can do so with no repercussions because they can manipulate time. So if they try to shoot, they can just... And not have to deal with it. These dots are just lasers coming from the guns. Also, very nice butterfly belt. Meanwhile, Lippy doesn't give a F and just dominates these guards, just like in the Not Friends music video. Not that hard to miss, but it's an I. This is the members getting into the car. This is a fun little tidbit, but Kim Lip is the only one of these three that actually has her driver's license. Here we have our little sunshine playing with a yellow car, which could be a new form of... But Eve also drove a yellow car in the Not Friends music video, but it could also be referring to the yellow truck in Odd Eye Circle's Girlfriend music video, or Hasa's Let Me In music video. Very interesting how Cherry's dress is yellow, or her inverse color on the RYB color wheel which just so happens to be Hyunjin's color, who is often regarded as Cherry's twin in the Luniverse. Here we have Jinso and Cherry burning Converse, because as they mentioned in an interview, Converse was our signature shoe that we wore during the Luna days, says the Air Force One co-lyricist Kim Lip ahead of the release, However, wearing the Nike Air Force Ones, now it kind of symbolizes our new start as a group by changing our symbol shoes. What we have here is the truck's tires spinning up. Now I'm just going to show you the next couple of clips because they all go by very fast. Girls burning Converse, this, this, but monochrome. Auto Circle is back in the van with the cake, but the candles are lit. Cut away from this scene earlier. Moon, girls with burning Converse again, but with the filter. I art thing, Apple with a bite from it. Apple's being a very significant factor in the Luniverse, especially for YY by Y, in which eating Rosacea is one of the factors of breaking free from the taboos of Eden. Solar Eclipse, some foreshadowing, a full moon, and the Earth. And now we have a black hole that's actually consuming a planet. Now, I had hypothesized in many past videos of mine that the true goal of the universe is to protect the world from this. A black hole consuming the world, slash the sun going supernova. And I'm glad to see that even with this switch of companies, this is still part of the story. And then we have whatever the F this is. 
This is something we have never seen before. And it's so interesting because we finally get to see some of the true potential the Audi Circle's power can do. They seemingly atomized a truck carrying a bunch of weapons. That's so cool. Now we have our ladies walking through the atomized truck like the badasses they are. Here we have Kimlip, but she has another cherry. Now we have Jinso knighting someone. Now this might sound crazy, but what if this person was the headmaster of the school in Eden, where we see why why by why? The story that would make would be wild. Like autocycles were the ones that caused everything? Oh. Maybe some other time. And then it cuts to the founder of the Lunaverse itself, the first girl, Rian. Uh, I mean, Heejin, looking amazing with that sparkly eye. As if I didn't point this out during PTT. Now isn't that interesting? Intentional focused on the eye, pixelations. My odd eye senses are tingling. And made a video on it last year. Now we have everyone in the room kneeling to the goddesses, just like at the end of PTT. And the girls leave the crown behind. But yeah, that was my full analysis of Odd Eye Circle's Air Force One music video. I gotta say, all this is what I've been looking for from Luna for a long time. The song is an absolute banger, the music video is rimming with Lunaverse madness, and we can finally see at least some of our girls perform again. If I missed anything, do let me know in the comments, but I'm sure the more times I watch the music video, I'm going to realize more and more of what can connect or have connections I don't realize now. So, if you do want to be here for when I do realize those things, hit the subscribe button, and if you do like the video, drop a like. It really does help support the channel and allows other theorists to find the video too. But, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.